subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we give you an idea about how to study machine learning at Learning Monkey. The content which we provided here is not only helpful for students, but the one who wants to change their domain to machine learning is 100% useful. The content which we provide here. So coming to the interview point, so what they concentrate here is they will concentrate 20% of the questions on the coding section and 80% of the questions based on the mathematics how the mathematics uh, how you understand the mathematics how you under how you are understanding uh, about the mathematics required for machine learning most of the questions are based on mathematics so we concentrate much on mathematics here and both mathematics implementation and coding part but we have to concentrate much on mathematical part coming to our content uh, so what we provided in our content is uh, in our first 13 videos we concentrated on the mathematical part uh, so this is the basic this is the difficult part in our entire machine learning content if you understand our first 13 videos you will never step back in machine learning because uh, the content which we provided here in this 13 videos if you if you understand that content uh, 80% of the machine learning models and 90% of the deep learning mathematics depends on these 13 videos. So we have to concentrate much on these 13 videos. So what's, what kind of mathematics, what's the mathematics we required here is uh, the basic uh, mathematics which we learned in our plus one plus two. What's the basic mathematics we learned? Slope of a line, two dimensional coordinate system, three dimensional coordinate system, equation of a line, derivative of a function. These basic concepts are enough for understanding machine learning. So, but our intention here, our intention here is to not to give you the understanding about these basic concepts. So what we provided in this 13 videos is so based on this basic concepts, how these basic concepts are interconnected and how these basic concepts are helpful in solving the machine learning models. This is what we provided. So how these basic concepts are helpful in solving our ML models. This transition of the subject should be done in this 13 videos. I repeat it again, this is very important. The transition of the subject, what's the subject? The basic concepts to how these basic concepts are interconnected and how these basic concepts are helpful in solving our machine learning models we took the first basic machine learning model that is a linear regression model and we solved we showed you both graphically and mathematically how these concepts are helpful in solving our machine learning models this transition of the subject happens at 8th to 13th videos these See, five videos are very very important uh, the transition of the subject happens in these videos so concentrate much on these videos if you really pass these 13 videos you will never step back in machine learning uh, all the concepts remaining all the concepts uh, you can go in a single step uh, if you watch the video once that's it you'll understand the concept uh, if you really understand these 13 videos okay the graphical and mathematical intuition is clearly provided in these 13 videos that intuition should be there in your mind then only you can understand the remaining concepts so my, our suggestion is uh, spend at least uh, 30 to 40 hours time on these 13 videos based on your understanding level you watch these videos minimum two times and maximum of five times based on your understanding level it will you can understand it in if you watch it for two times or based on your understanding level you can go up to five times 
but once you understand this concept you will never step back in machine learning that's what you have to understand you have to spend at least 30 to 40 hours spend 10 days time each day you spend two to three hours time and spend at least 10 days on these concepts okay and coming to next 14th to 35th video so before going into our machine learning models first we have to do some data cleaning and data pre-processing on our data sets we took two real-time data sets and we apply data cleaning and data pre-processing on those data set we will use those two data sets in our entire machine learning models we apply all our machine learning models on these two data sets so what you have to the concepts here in data cleaning and data reprocessing are easy to understand but what you have to concentrate here is on the coding part so in the description part of each video we provided the link to download the data set and the coding we explained the concept and we implemented the concept in python we are using ipython notebook jupyter notebook how to install and how to install the packages everything is clearly explained in these videos data cleaning and data preprocessing here you have to concentrate on coding understanding the concepts is very very easy in this videos after completion of this 35th video you must be used with uh, python you must have a better understanding of uh, how to code uh, using python that is what you have to get after completion of this uh, videos okay after completion of this 35th video so from 36th video onwards we will explain nearly 10 to 15 videos we will discuss about the concepts that required for all the machine learning models at least 10 to 15 videos we will concentrate on the concepts that required for all the machine learning models means these are the basic concepts required for all the machine learning models these concepts are slightly dependent on this mathematics you will feel little difficult at this stage if you really understand these concepts it's not that much difficult but these concepts are slightly dependent on this mathematics if you really understand this then we go for our first model we'll teach you the mathematics and then implementation take the second model teach you the mathematics and implementation take the third model teach you the mathematics and implementation like that we will complete entire machine learning and then we move on to deep learning deep learning mathematics also the mathematics required for deep learning that is neural networks is based on these concepts that's why you have to concentrate much on our first 13 videos you may feel difficult at this stage but if you have any questions please post your questions and start discussions we will help you as much as possible we got and the discussions not only helpful for you it will helpful for our next generations you will sharing the subject okay so coming to after completion of first model we will teach the mathematics and we will teach the implementation part at this stage at this stage the concepts which we you covered be, uh, all the concepts which you covered before uh, at this stage you will get a clear idea about uh, what machine learning is uh, and how to study machine learning what's happening in machine learning all these concepts will be understood at this stage so you must have so much patience to go up to here once you completed this part your first model understand the mathematics and uh, implementation part uh, from here onwards you can fly on your own no no one you you don't need any suggestions you will clearly have an understanding about how to study for machine learning and how to get placed in based on the domain called machine learning okay hope you understand so if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you